Here we start a session in experience design. Conducting the session will be Hilary Mason of Johnson and Wales University. She teaches new media and computer science there. Experience design is the systematic process of communicating a message by designing an appropriate experience. For an example, Hillary presents a message. You can buy seasoned cooked lamb skewers in a Moroccan marketplace. The message is in two forms, a PowerPoint presentation and a replica of a Moroccan marketplace. The PowerPoint presentation says Moroccan marketplace, lamb skewers, seasoned, cooked. If you needed to learn about a Moroccan marketplace, you could read a PowerPoint presentation and listen to a lecture on the subject. Or you could look around in this replica. Two kinds of learning here, verbal learning and experiential learning, if you don't mind me talking like a psychologist. With a lecture in PowerPoint, you learn from the world of words. PowerPoint slides use bullet points to break complicated ideas into small digestible bits. That puts the burden of integration on the learner. With an immersive experience, we can communicate these compli complicated ideas as a whole. Given a replica that you can interact with, you learn from the experience of the interaction. What Hillary is demonstrating in this session is how to start with a communication objective and translate it into an experience that will deliver the communication to the intended audience. And because she favors experiential learning, Hillary is conducting this session as a learning experience. She's organizing the audience into groups with similar levels of ability. She will then ask each group to pick a simple communication objective and to develop a plan or construction that communicates as intended. The session then becomes 3D brainstorming. People begin to build things. One of the ideas is smoking hot. Another is a pretty wooden tunnel. Then there's a table for a giant and a bench. Now, what are people learning here? One, people in Second Life work together to generate ideas, plans, and constructions. Two, in just a few minutes, people can start building things that represent the ideas that are taking shape in their heads. All this brainstorming in building, for example, happened in about 10 minutes. Three, and this is not obvious on the screen. Much of what it takes to construct an experience in Second Life is already available in other people's inventories. Ask and you probably will receive. Nobody had to build that bench, for example. Somebody just fetched it out of an inventory. So there you are. A summary of Hillary's session neatly arranged with three bullet points, ready for your PowerPoint presentation. Now you have the experience to decide which way you would like to learn or to teach.